What's the deal guys? What's popping? All right, I'm gonna show you how to evaluate a deal now, how to analyze a deal using REI Automator. I like to use this, this system. Um, it's pretty dope. It does like a lot of things really quickly, but Zillow, you can evaluate using Zillow and it works wonders. The first like two years of my career, all I did was do stuff through Zillow. I didn't use MLS, I didn't use REI Automator, I just used Zillow. And so that's why it's my favorite one to teach because anyone can do it so but if you guys get this program um it's pretty dope i'm just going to show you real quick how to use it and i'm going to show you a couple ways you can analyze it so using cash sales and other stuff so let's let's analyze the deal i have on my inventory sheet this is what my freedom soft looks like let's pick this one 165 20 northwest 22nd have 20 northwest 22nd have bam <clears throat> We got this and we'll go here. You see it shows a little map view, whatever. Then we'll go to details, go to comparables and nearby listings. So there's two ways that we can do comps, right? If, if I'm looking at this deal to, to, um, to just analyze it, to know if I want to buy it or not, like for me, then I'll do a full analysis, which I'll go into right now. But if I'm trying to find out what offer to make this homeowner, um, or if I'm looking at deals on the MLS or if I'm looking at stuff, I want to see what they're selling for cash. And I mentioned that in my video. Check this out. All right. So you go to here to cash buyers. Um, I'm going to start with 0 0.5 distance. Let's put a date range of, you know, minimum. We'll do, we'll do a year just because, I mean, you should do six months, but let's just do a year just so we can get a lot of references. Um, so this house is a three, 1096 square feet sold and um uh, okay we, we could leave all this the same i mean maybe so we got a thousand ninety six square feet here so i'll put maybe square footage max 1400 boom so we got two we got one that sold for 152 cash and one that sold for 275 cash wow this is aggressive this is high now this is a 31864 so it's smaller than ours well, you can just see details here and we can look into it. So now let's assume that, let's just assume, right? We didn't come up with this value, okay? Let's assume that the ARV, the after repair value for this house is 200, 200,000. Let's assume, I don't know what it is yet. We'll go into it. Let's assume it's 200. Let's say that this house needs 20,000 in repairs. This one, 165.20. There's not a lot of spread there. That means that, all right, so it's worth 200. Now, let's say someone else bought this thing at 152 and it's similar. Why would I care if it's worth 200 or 3 million or 150? Why would I care, right? If someone, if another cash buyer bought a similar house for 152, I'm gonna, there's a good chance I'm gonna sell mine at 150, right? That's what I'm getting at here. So let's check out the, I, what I did was I clicked details from this one. Let's see what it looked like. So <clears throat> here it says own information, transaction history, warranty deed 152. Yeah, cash sale. Real time, blah, blah, blah. So it's a cash sale, sold for a 3 1. Sold for that much. Pretty impressive. Um, now th this one is it's a three two. It's bigger. I mean, it's it's decent. Let's put a mile. There we go. We got more more data. <clears throat> so I like to go into three one. So look, this one sold. Another one sold at one fifty two. Look at that. So we got two that sold at one fifty two. Why wouldn't I try to sell mine at one fifty two? <clears throat> Meaning, if I go meet with the seller and they're like, "Oh, I want one forty. Well, it might be worth just negotiating down to 130 and you know you can sell at 150. As long as the repairs are somewhat similar. That's what I'm trying to look at. Look, another one sold at 159. Beast mode. Just to let you guys know, I got this one under contract for 99. So, anyways, boom. Usually I'll have some pictures here. Sometimes I'll have some pictures, but here there's no pictures. 
Yeah, there's no pictures. But uh, if we, let's just assume that's the same. So what I'm trying to get at is, okay, you can analyze very quickly what stuff is selling for cash. Because what are you going to sell your house for? Cash. For how much? Well, as much as they're fucking paying for it. Sorry, sorry to curse, but it's just the way it is. <clears throat> okay, so let's get into actually analyzing this deal. So we'll go to comps. Well, this is a year date range. Put half a mile. Let's put MLS status sold. I like the square footage thing. I'll just put like 1300 max. So we don't, we're not dealing with super high end properties. So it's from minimum to, so it could be 500 or it could be one square feet to 1300. Boom, now we got all the three ones. So we got 220, 266, 235. What I like to do is I'll draw. So you see, this is our house here. This purple is a highway. How do I know that? I mean, it's kind of obvious, but let's say you don't, you can just research it. So obviously if you cross a highway, things might be different. So I'm gonna draw a little box right here, right here, right here, and right here. And then I press enter. And now we got the comps of just this little box. So we got 220, we got 266, we got 235, we got, uh, this is the cash sale. There's another cash sale probably, 256, we got 240. So what do you think this ARV is, right? And I don't like to be so detailed. It, it might be a good or a bad, but it doesn't matter. It's, it sells property, so I don't care what you think. So anyways, 220, 266, 235, 256, 240, 230. Safe to say ARV is 240? Yep, that's ARV. That's the analysis right there. That's as far as you go. Boom. 240 ARV, done, set in stone. Make sense? So this is how you use REI Automator to get that. Um, and this thing has a bunch of cool features. I'm not gonna use it now because this is this course is not a tutorial, this thing. But if you do get it, it's got a lot of cool features. Anyways, that is that. Um, I hope that helps you.